Coming up now, it's time for the individual medal matches in the compound men's competition. First up, it's the bronze medal match. Well, here's how the athletes got here. Of course, again, the losing semi-finalists come through in to this match. And another slightly unusual match as Roberto Han Hernandez of El Salvador loses out to Braden Gillantine and Evren Kagiran will be his opponent. And here they come out onto the field of play. It's time for bronze here on Compound Saturday in the men's individual. Roberto Hernandez of El Salvador up against Evren Kagera of Turkey. And you can see uh, that the average arrow is much higher for uh, Hernandez, but he won't want to get into a tiebreaker with Evren Kagera. No surprise to see a Turkish athlete in a medal match. Uh, but Mackenzie, uh, athlete from El Salvador? Yeah, he's uh, Roberto's actually a really great shot. I mean, he ranked fifth in the, the ranking round here. Um, he's a consistent archer. He just doesn't make it to medal matches as often as, as we see some of the other archers, but still just a really good shooter. Well, both losing out 147 to 146 in the semifinals. It is Hernandez to shoot first on target one. This for the bronze medal. Buena. <laughs> Stop. Oh, almost the same spot. Yeah. Solid. I think he might have been trying to hit the spider there. Still a nine liner there. Yeah, marked as a nine, but there's the measure confirmation with the asterisk. Good check. Great start from the athlete from El Salvador. That one's definitely out. Yeah, it's going to be a nine. Uh, but we'll have to see what the judges okay, down at sorry. the target. Yes, you that second arrow. Well, let's go down there and have a listen to what the target judge has to say. His time is on. Okay. Okay. Great. Right. 10, 10, 10. I two. Target 2. 10, 10, 9. Number. So that second and, arrow and will be upgraded to a 10. Uh, it was just a little close to be able to definite, uh, you know, definitively say that that was a ten. Uh, the, the coach is down the other end with the, uh, at the shooting end with, with the telescope. You're able to see that clearly. Uh, do they know before it's called? The spotting scope helps you be able to say probably ninety percent yes or no, um, but sometimes you just can't tell. It's just that close. Well, it marked up to a twenty-nine, but it was a perfect start for Roberto Hernandez. Started off with a good 10, then into the X, and then that one, well, also really very close. That second arrow, though, exceptionally close to the spider. So, Kagran of Turkey will shoot first in the second end of this bronze medal match. Oh, look That's at that response. Even more, I mean, just so centered to the Yes, in Boston and the Turkish team, all in the crowd cheering on their teammate. A little snap of the shoulders there. Yeah, he didn't like that one too much. Bit of Boquondo there. Yeah. Oh. Maybe a 
little bit there from uh, a Turkish athlete as well. Bo Kondo, Mackenzie's word for... Uh, you haven't have to trademark that, I think. Yeah, yeah, using the bow, throwing it uh, after you've released the arrow to try and help it on its way. Good shot. Yes. So good response from uh, the Turkish athlete. A uh, good uh, fight back for Roberto Hernandez, having dropped to nine. 59 apiece after two ends, all square, all level. I think that last, last X that Roberto shot was in the same hole as the last end. He had that X that was just so close, and I think that one's uh, pretty much exactly where that, that last end arrow was. How... Uh, How's, what's the coach been going to be saying to him right now, having had to fight his way back into this? I, I think they're just going to try to keep it light right now and uh, make sure that they don't put too much pressure on, on the athlete. Well, uh, what a fight back here. And uh, that is so close, that first arrow to the spider. And then just pulling that one across a little bit. But the third to nail the third one in as well, really consistent stuff and confidence, right? Confidence boost for him. Yeah, absolutely. But it, at, right now it's anybody's game. Whoever is able to uh, miss the least, that's who's going to win. Fernandez will shoot first, even though they're level. Dropping into the nine. So opportunity for the Turkish athlete now to take the lead. Another 10. Long hold from Hernandez. But he's back in the 10s, and there is a really good core grouping of four or five arrows, all just to the bottom right of the X for him. Think about it. Three points drop between the two yeah. athletes. Kagiran yeah. is on for another perfect score here. Pressure on the athlete from El Salvador. Good shot. If, if I was Roberto's coach right now, I would be reminding him how that first end went. The, the second and third ends have been a little bit slower on pace, and I think that that's why you've seen him drop those two points. I mean, we're talking about two points here, just small margins, but when you slow down, you start making a few more mistakes, and I think that that's where Roberto can really start to pick up some more points right now. Well, the Turkish athlete scoring another perfect 30 here. The coach has got to be delighted with that. Two perfect 30s in a row. Trailed by one after the first end, but has fought back with perfect scores of 30, <laughs> followed by 30 to steal the lead by one point and here he is with his perfect 30 uh, and just that one arrow dropping into the nine in the first set the third arrow of the first end I should say three great shots again from uh, Evren Kagiran he's taken control of the match leading by one so Roberto Hernandez of El Salvador will shoot first on target one Solo trabaja la espalda, eh. Deja que el tiro salga solo, solo mantén, eh. That one was a little bit quicker, so maybe he's he's kept that in mind that that timing is so crucial to be able to put arrows where you want them to go. Well, the door has opened now. Hernandez can tie things up. But when the opportunity was there, he's thrown that one uh, into the eight by the looks of things. Good 
Well, what's going on here? Has the wind picked up? I think the wind has picked up, but I don't think that that's what the what we're seeing down there. Well, back in the middle for Hernandez. So pressure now on Everin Kagaran needs a 10 to draw level after four ends. Gets a 10. What a mysterious fourth end there. Hernandez getting a sort of a sigh from the crowd, dropping a, an eight. And then Kagaran following suit. I I think that Everin maybe have seen that, okay, he's got an eight, I can capitalize here, and then maybe that just gave him a little too much nerves to, to bump that out to the left side. Uh, coaches in debate with their athletes. I just... I mean, it's, it sounds really uh, harsh to say that we're criticizing eights here. It's amazing at 50 meters they can get eights. Uh, but they're so used, we're so used to seeing them hitting tens that one after the other is, uh, well, I, I don't, I'm not sure I've seen it yeah, in, in recent it's, times. It's smart to keep it in perspective that we're only talking about four points from perfect scores right now. I think it's really amazing shooting because if we see this as, as four... 29s in a row. We wouldn't think that that's odd, but you know we've we've had a couple of uh, what you would call a mistake arrow. Well, Roberto Hernandez to shoot first in the fifth end of this bronze medal match, all tied up with Evren Kagaran. Back into the center where we're used to seeing them. Call this one, it's swinging one way and then the other. Good shot. Another great shot from Hernandez. Has he found the momentum with him at the right time in this match? I think this might be where we're seeing a little bit of Roberto's uh, experience here in a finals match. He can put this one out of reach with a 10. He gets a 10! Roberto Hernandez has taken the bronze. Oh, it was it looked like it was in the hands of the Turkish athlete, but he dropped points. And uh, getting another nine to finish things off. What a brilliant performance. What an interesting match. I mean I, I it's fascinating when we, we as you say, when you put it in perspective, eight uh, we call a mistake shot, but they only dropped, what, between them four and six points, ten over all those arrows. But it's Roberto Hernandez of El Salvador who'll take bronze in Shanghai.